What's up guys? It's your boy Scott from King Queen Cichlids bringing you yet another new video. Now today I'm kind of being a bad boy. I'm in Connecticut at the ACA, the American Cichlids Association Convention and it's taking place right now. But me and some friends of mine, we're going to go to Uncle Ned's Fish Store which is about two hours away and do a fish tour and of course get some fish. Now I've heard of Uncle Ned's for a long time, I've heard it's a great store and it's only two hours away and I don't want to miss this opportunity to go check them out. So keep it quiet, I'm going to sneak out, we're going to go to Uncle Ned's Fish Store and we're going to bring it directly to you. Alright, let's go. I almost forgot. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy it, leave me comments below so I know what I can do to improve your experience at King Queen Cichlids. And if you're not subscribed, check out all my videos. See if it's something that you like and hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Alright guys, let's go. Uncle Ned's Fish Factory is found in Mills, Massachusetts. It's one of the largest tropical fish stores in the entire New England area. Uncle Ned is actually Ned Bauer, who has been working with fish his entire life. His passion and love for fish shows in his store. With hundreds of tanks and thousands of fish, Uncle Ned's Fish Factory shows a diverse collection of fish from each and every part of the world. It's pretty impressive. There's koi, there's goldfish, there's plants, there are things for ponds. Uh, every tropical fish that you could think of was represented in Uncle Ned's Fish Factory. If you are into any type of fish and in the New England, Massachusetts area, you definitely want to check the store out. You will not be disappointed. These fish look great. They are healthy. They are well taken care of. And you can tell someone who loves the hobby is taking care of the store. They even had a nice selection of guppies, which reminds me, check out my boy Michael from Michael's Fish Room. He did a review on Uncle Ned's Fish Factory as well. Now Ned got his start keeping African cichlids and that can be seen in his store. This is the most diverse store I've ever been in that's had anything from Victorian, Tanganyika's, Malawi's, West African, Madagascar. Every cichlid you can think of were represented in Uncle Ned's Fish Factory. Now while in the store, it doesn't take long for you to realize that Ned Bauer loves African cichlids. I mean, they're represented in just about every corner of this store. Funny story, while we were looking at his fish in his store, he was actually at the American Cichlid Association convention enjoying speakers in the camaraderie with other fish people. African cichlid galore. There's African cichlids everywhere. You won't believe it. I'll tell you what guys, I am really impressed with the store. I've gone around twice now. Such an impressive shop. And again, I know I keep saying this, African cichlid lovers, you definitely need to come check out Uncle Ned's fish shop. It is full of African cichlids that I've never even seen before from Lake Tanganyika, Victoria, and Malawi. I mean, there's everything you could imagine as far as African cichlids in here. Yes, would I like to see some more Central and South American cichlids? Absolutely. But what I have seen here is the people that run the shop have a love and a passion for fish. Definitely come to Uncle Ned's shop. I think you're going to enjoy it. You African cichlid lovers, your mind's going to be blown. Uh, 
Another thing I absolutely love about this store, which is also old school, is that each and every tank has its own sponge filter and an air system. So it is not like some of these newer shops that has one filtration system that runs through all the tanks, multiple tanks, and then if something goes wrong, all the tanks crash or all the tanks have diseases. No. Each and every one of these tanks have its own filtration system and can all be separated. I also like that some of the fish that were sick or in quarantine were marked so you knew that they were being taken care of. Great work, Uncle Ned. Seriously guys, the selection of African cichlids in here is so good, it's even making me think about getting some African cichlids. Check those guys out. And then I found them, wild caught fest day. And here we go, the enchilada. So wild, best day, awesome. Having to stay from a distance from these guys because they're skittish. And as you expect, being wild caught, they're not used to cameras or other stuff being in their face. But I'm getting at least two of these guys because best days are one of my favorite, as you know. Signals. And to get some F1s at $18 a piece, yeah, we gotta do this. State your name for us, please. Alan Rawlings. Alan Rawlings. This is my advisor. This is my mentor. So whenever I purchase some fish, I like get pounds around and take a look at them. So we're looking at these wild best day. Yeah, the... He thinks that they are more of probably the green variant. Yep, uh, certainly Mira Heros, best day. Yeah. Uh, I think you've got a female under this log here. Uh -huh. It's about two and a quarter, two and a half inches. The rest are coming out now, we've been studying here a while. Um, yeah, they're, they're healthy and yes. well fed. No sunken belly. No, no, no sunken belly, no obvious uh, parasite right. injury. These are all things that when you guys are purchasing fish, you should be looking for. Make sure the and fish nice is healthy. clear eyes. Yeah. Clear eyes, no sunken belly, and no parasites or damage on the fish. But that guy, that's definitely a male on the bottom, don't you think? Right. Could actually be a female with, really? the, with the dot in the dorsal fin. Yeah. The oscillator's dot, you can see it better from this angle. Here's another female. But they would be a good buy at a ridiculously cheap price of $18. Yeah, I think I gotta get some. On principle alone, I gotta get some. Mm. That's right, guys. I finally found something I wanted. It's Wild Caught Fest Day. I'm really excited about it. The price is incredible. You definitely want to come to Uncle Te uh, Uncle Ned's, excuse me, Uncle Ned's, and check them out. They have a wide selection of African cichlids uh, that you don't see anywhere else. I mean, Lake Tanganyika, Victorians, uh, Malawi. They have a wide, wide selection. But near and dear to my heart are the Central and South Americans. And to pick up some wild caught fest day, I can't pass up on it. Let's check out what I'm gonna get, guys. up some wild caught best day they look fantastic Alan's already checked them out they're in perfect condition can't wait to get them home and now Alan is down there getting some stuff too I think he said he was getting some West African cichlids again the store has so many different African cichlids I've never seen before it's incredible so definitely come down check out Uncle Ned's fish shop you're gonna enjoy it now to the part I hate I gotta pay 
can't beat that price. No. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I was trying to wait to get Alan and Karen to pay, but... <laughs> Guys, you gotta support your fish stores, everybody. Have fun at the convention. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go through here a little bit. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I misspoke because here are the exact cichlids I've been looking for in here. Central, these are South American cichlids, geos, and etc. Thank God Liz isn't here because she would be all on top of these cichlids. Check those boys out. Beautiful. Healthy. Look great. Clear eyes. No something belly. Just fantastic looking fish. Um, you can figure something out when you get here. Um, the end of the method, we have some This place is so cool! Shop. One of the reasons why I like it so much, and it's my first time ever being here, but it's old school. It's got that smell and that old school look that I like. It is a shop all based around the love of fish. Obviously the owner of this shop knows what they're doing. Fish all look healthy. It's just a great shop with that old school feel to it. If you're in the area, the Boston, Massachusetts area, definitely check out Uncle Ned's. You can't go wrong. There is such a large selection of African cichlids. Now, again, you know I'm not an African cichlid guy, but there is such a wide variety of cichlids, African cichlids, I've never seen before. It's well worth the trip, especially if you're into African cichlids. Huge, huge inventory of Lake Tanika cichlids, which is rare. I mean, I haven't gone to a lot of stores that have Lake Tanika uh, African cichlids. So it's really cool. Uh, overall, for me. Hi, Scott. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> he knows I'm filming. He's right in here. My buddy, <laughs> Mike from Michael's Fish Room. Hi, everyone. The best t shirt in the world. You know, I gotta represent. I mean, if you can make this sexy with a t shirt, I can, you can make, make anything, anything sexy. sexy. I well, mean, for sure. Ah. <laughs> but what do you think, Mike? Pretty I, cool store. I love the old school look of the store, the feel. That's um, exactly what I just yeah, said. The yeah. store has a very old school look. Uh, the smell, the touch, the taste, it's just, I like it. It's definitely done by a store. I didn't store. taste anything, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. It's definitely done by a store who keeps fish, loves fish, yeah. and knows what they're for doing. Sure, for, for sure, for sure. So. I love the the different tank and filter setups. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty so, cool. cool. Cool shop, definitely check out Michael from Michael's Fish Room. He's gonna do a review on it as well. And uh, I did more just the cichlids. So uh, check both our videos out and give us a thumbs up. Bye, guys. All right. Bye-bye.